It's been a, a really big 24 hours for, for news. Uh, the Fonterra announcement was a big thing for us, but, but really it's all paled in comparison to the news coming out of Europe right now. Uh, Standard & Poor's has downgraded uh, Greece's bonds to junk status, which really is quite a big deal. It's the first time in the Eurozone history that a, uh, that a Euro member has had their bond status downgraded so far, and it's really causing a few shockwaves in financial markets. The Euro has, has dropped, share markets are, are very weak uh, overnight, and uh, there's quite a bit of concern that there's uh, contagion spreading to other European regions and, and the area could have a uh, debt crisis. The other areas that are in the spotlight right now is Portugal. They got a downgrade from Standard & Poor's as well. And we're seeing yields on the other riskier nations widen over the more uh, safer German bunds. So uh, it's quite significant developments and these will carry on through, uh, through early May as the thing which financial markets are going to focus on. Well that Greek news overshadowed pretty much everything else but there was obviously very positive news in our market yesterday which was the Fonterra announcement. Not only was it good news that they uh, raised the dairy price for this current season, but they also gave the market an informal guidance on next season's payout, which should be around the, uh, the current levels. So that's good news for farmers and, and, and their budgets. Now normally news like this would see the New Zealand dollar lift, uh, but it actually had a pretty good session for the New Zealand dollar in the preceding uh, couple of sessions and we'd got quite strong. So there's little reaction on the, uh, on the day and perhaps that reflects the fact that the market was anticipating this sort of announcement. Elsewhere we had some pretty positive data in the, uh, the US uh, which would normally lift things but it's all paling uh, to, that, to that Greek news which will be the focus for the markets for the next 24 hours.